Endgame and Act Without Words, by Samuel Beckett is a profound exploration of the human condition, articulated through minimalist settings, sparse dialogue, and a pervasive sense of despair. In Endgame, the bleakness of existence is depicted through the interactions of four characters confined within a single room. Ham, the blind and immobilized protagonist, exerts control over Clav, his servant, who is physically able but emotionally constrained. The relationship between Ham and Clav is a microcosm of dependency and domination, underscored by the repetitive, cyclical nature of their exchanges, which mirror the static and inescapable reality they inhabit. The play's title itself, Endgame, alludes to the final phase in a chess game, suggesting that the characters are merely going through the motions in a world devoid of meaning or resolution. This metaphor extends to the broader existential dilemma where actions seem futile, yet the characters persist, driven by habit or the mere fact of being alive. The physical limitations of the characters in Endgame reflect their existential paralysis. Ham's blindness and immobility symbolize a deeper blindness to purpose, while Clav's inability to sit and his constant threat of departure, which he never fulfills, illustrate a perpetual state of indecision and entrapment. The characters of Nag and Nell, Ham's legless parents who live in trash bins, further emphasize the degradation and absurdity of life. Their attempt to recall a happier past only highlights the futility of memory in providing solace. The setting, often interpreted as a post-apocalyptic world or the end of time, amplifies the sense of isolation and decay, where language itself becomes a tool of survival rather than communication. The dialogue is circular, full of interruptions and repetitions, mirroring the character's entrapment in a world where nothing new can be said or done. This repetition is not just a stylistic choice but a reflection of Beckett's exploration of the monotony and stasis of existence. In Act Without Words, Beckett continues his exploration of existential themes but in a more abstract, almost pantomime-like form. The play, devoid of dialogue, features a lone protagonist who is repeatedly thwarted in his attempts to escape or fulfill basic needs. The presence of unseen forces that manipulate the protagonist's environment, preventing him from achieving his goals, underscores the theme of absurdity. This struggle, devoid of any clear purpose or outcome, becomes a metaphor for the human condition, where effort seems perpetually doomed to failure. The protagonist's repeated attempts to reach for objects, such as a tree or water, only to be thwarted by an unseen force, symbolizes the futility of human striving. The absence of language in this play emphasizes the inadequacy of words to convey meaning or to alter one's fate. Instead, physical action, or the lack thereof, becomes the primary mode of expression, highlighting the absurdity of a world where even basic physical needs are unattainable. Both Endgame and Act Without Words are united by Beckett's exploration of absurdism, a philosophy that suggests life is inherently meaningless, and that human beings are constantly searching for meaning in a world that offers none. In Endgame, this is portrayed through the characters' repetitive and seemingly pointless routines, their conversations that go nowhere, and their memories that offer no comfort. In Act Without Words, the futility of human effort is depicted in a more physical, visceral manner, where the protagonist's every action is countered by an invisible, unyielding force. Beckett's use of minimalism in both plays, whether through sparse dialogue, bare settings, or the reduction of language, serves to strip down the human experience to its most basic elements, revealing the inherent absurdity of existence. The characters in both plays are trapped, not just physically but existentially, unable to break free from their circumstances or find any lasting meaning in their actions. Beckett's work remains a powerful commentary on the human condition, forcing the audience to confront the bleakness and absurdity of life while also finding a strange, dark humor in the relentless, often pointless, struggle to continue.